there are a ton of Yodel cards out there and there's no way that I've already seen all of them, but I would still like to share with you some of the ones that I like the best, or at least the ones I've seen that my children like the best. And just in case you're wondering, this is the official Yodel holder or binder. It comes in a couple of different colors. This is the color we picked, um, as it sort of kind of goes with our color theme, at least less clashing than the bright orange one. And the reason why I picked this one over buying something that's cheaper where you can make your own little card sleeves is because most card sleeves I've seen are pretty cheap and easy to rip off. These right here not only have this little nice little slot right here so that kids can easily take it out but they can also put it in by themselves quite easily and um, if, I'm not sure if you can tell but you can see that my children don't exactly treat this perfectly but it doesn't matter it has none of these have ripped yet this is including my two-year-old who definitely does not know how to treat things nicely actually let me turn on my second camera to give you a closer look at everything all right, so here we have what I wanted to show you earlier. This is the area where my child has kind of, they just, sometimes my daughter just forces it in. Unlike adults who would just kind of want to slide it in like that. Oops, sorry, want to slide it in underneath. My daughter just kind of just pushes in like this and you can see that it hits this edge right here. And no matter how hard my daughter has pushed on it, it hasn't ripped yet, which is definitely a really good thing. Okay, so now on to the cards and this is probably the better view for you to see which cards I like the best. So here, um, this is the Animal Song. I really like this one, or my children really like this. The songs on here are really great. Um, yeah, I have all of her Lori um, Berkner songs. I'm not sure if I'm butchering her name. Hopefully I'm not. But the, L the Lori Berkner band, all their songs are really great and very catchy. This is definitely one my, my children love a lot, especially their dinosaur stomping one. Okay. All right, so this dinosaur card here is a story card, as you can see. So it basically has a lot of different stories in there. It's a huge, a lot, a lot of chapters on there. So definitely great for older children who has the patience to sit down and listen to what they talk about each one of these dinosaurs. I really probably don't need to talk about the beetle one here and the kid pop one. They're both really great, but my kids don't really like them quite as much as me. So I think those are a little bit more for me and my wife than my children at the moment. They do seem to like this animal songs one better than beetle songs or these kid pop songs. And in case you're wondering, this is the 2001 version. So these songs are in the 2000s, which is pretty popular for us millennials. Um, and me and my wife like the songs however my children not so much all right so on to the next page over here this jazz one is it's not too bad my children listen to it once in a while not a favorite of theirs uh, hotel flamingo is a story which they don't really care about too often at least not yet i feel like the stories are still something for when they get a little bit older and my son at four year old is just starting to understand some of these stories um, but Hotel Flamingo doesn't seem like one he's interested in. Although for me though, personally, I think it's a pretty interesting story. And they have a whole set of a lot of different stories based on this hotel. Uh, sleep on Dino Mountain is basically just a lot of sound effects for children to sleep to. Definitely nothing we listen to a lot as we're not really in the habit of listening to music or anything when we sleep. However, if you are, this one might not, this might, this one might be a good one because, um, it does have a little bit of dinosaur talking in the beginning and it just has a lot of, a lot of jungle noises really. Journey Jams has some songs in it. Not a big hit yet. Maybe if my kids are a little bit older and we do go on a road trip, they might understand a little bit better. All right, now on to a big star to show here. It is the Paw Patrol here. These four and these two here, they all come in a set of six. These are definitely by far some of my kids' favorites. They listen to all of them, especially my son loves this Marshall one here a lot. My daughter really loves Zuma. And I think Chase gets listened to a lot along with Sky. I wanna probably say Rocky gets listened to the least, but they all get listened to quite a bit. And one thing I really like about these six is that many of the story I've noticed with Yodo is they don't use the real voice acting. And these, they actually do use the real voice actors and actresses so that it's something your children are familiar with if they do watch the TV show. And even though they don't, it's just nicer that it has multiple voice actors. To your Robin Hood songs, I think this one is stories. Yeah, this is stories. Once again, not one of my children's favorite. 
pretty much most of them besides the Paw Patrol stories, they haven't been really too interested in. And that same thing with Onward. It's a little bit too complicated for them at the moment. Crackling noises is just some noises, which is something they actually enjoy a lot once in a while where they want to pretend that they're listening to flames or something. It, it does like get played a little bit more than I expected. Where Spot is a nice little story and a bunch of other stories. This one's a little bit easier than some of the other ones as we have read the Where Spot book is previously before. So it's not completely brand new to them. My first words, I was actually really surprised here that my son really enjoyed this one. He really enjoyed just listening to it and just repeating all the words that he hears. And it does come with many different languages. And it was really surprising to me hearing him repeat a bunch of other words in other languages that we normally don't speak besides English. Hey, so here Story Shed is a podcast card, um, which we actually listen to probably the least out of all of these because podcast is dumb. As you can tell, this is a station, so it's not always the same thing playing. And at this age, my children probably do prefer something that they know that, well, when they know what they get when they put the card in. Okay, and now on to some of my favorite and my children's favorites are the Make Your Own Cards. This fairy tale one isn't too bad. Uh, my children haven't listened to it too many times. It's one of my newer ones I added to this binder, and they haven't got to it. So I'm not 100% sure what their reaction is, but back to my make your own cards. These are by far some of my children's favorite ones. So basically one of these here, um, I can't remember exactly, my children probably remember better than me. One of these is a bunch of nursery rhyme songs that I found free off of this website. I'll link it down below so that you can download if you want, so you can enter it on one of these cards. And the other one is for the Blackpink song. As my wife, it does like Korean music a lot. And this is something that they like, they hear often enough that they like. And then as you can notice here, I do have another make your own card, which I did end up printing my own little sticker for. On camera, I'm not sure, might give it might actually look better in camera than in person. I don't really have a great printer, um, so it looks a little bit faded. But if you do have a really good printer, you can make this look a lot, lot better. And just give something so your child can easily recognize, because if you don't, all the make your own cards, they all kind of look the same. They have nothing on one side. Um, that's what I printed one of these on. Actually, let me back up a bit first. Um, let me get a little bit more details. I know probably some of you guys are wondering how I did this. Um, was it really hard getting a little sticker to match this perfect cut? Well, it is, um, it's not too hard. There's a few ways to do it. There are these um, special printers. Well, not special printers. There's printers like Canon Ivy. Print card size or photo size are very similar to this that fit on these cards fairly well. However, I don't have one of those cameras, so I did use my own printer and I, I bought some of these stickers that can be peeled and they are card sized. It's almost perfect. The only difference is that the edges here um, aren't exactly perfect. So I did just end up using scissors to cut it. However, there are other ways. I've seen some parents actually use these punchers that have rounded edge that you can also do that. I haven't done too many of them because once again, as I mentioned earlier, my printer isn't the best. And even though I've replaced the new ink for it, um, everything turns out kind of faded. And even with this card, this is probably one of the better prints I've had. But yes, I will link everything I mentioned down below in the comment section, just in case you're curious. And back to why, why I like the printing is because as you can see, all of these cards all are blank. They do come with these little stickers right here. If you've seen them, um, you can also use these to decorate the cards. However, something like this is definitely more enticing because it's kind of sort of matches these other ones better. And so far, my children don't seem to mind that this one's printed and the quality print is definitely not as impressive as the original print. I do want to say that my son listens to this card very often. And the way I got this is that I've got a bunch of audiobook files of the Paw Patrol. Um, there's various ways to get them from like maybe renting them from the library or even downloading from Amazon and purchasing them. So I do have a bunch of different ones. I want, do want to say that it's actually kind of odd um, how I kind of mentioned mentioned earlier that the Paw Patrol one uses real voice actors and that I kind of like that better. But I found that my son doesn't seem to really care quite as much as long as it's all about Paw Patrol. He'll gladly listen to this and these, the audio or the narrator for this is just one person narrating and they don't even mimic the voices all the time properly. All right, so as you can see, my collection here isn't really that big. 
I do have quite a lot of spots left over here as you can see in the binder which I don't anticipate myself filling it up anytime soon as while these cards aren't exactly um, very expensive they're not cheap either. Um, building a collection is gonna be take a little while for your child. Which brings me to the make your own cards. As you can see, um, you can print these here that are pretty nice and still grow your collection fairly inexpensively depending on where you're getting your audiobooks from. Um, you even have the option of reading to your child and then putting it on one of these cards. That's actually what my wife is planning to do with the Paw Patrol um, books because my children love listening to it and we're constantly trying to find different readers on Spotify to read them um, and there's not too many that are that great at reading it so my wife is planning to just actually read it herself and record them and then we'll of course put one on the cards here and probably make a special little print for them and I know they'll enjoy it. Let me know down below in the comment section what cards you're planning to get for your child and also let me know if this has opened up a whole new world of ideas for you because the first time I found out about printing on these cards or these stickers and putting it on the cards myself, I had so many ideas and so many things to do. However, the thing holding me back is a printer. So I probably should go buy a printer. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, keep parenting the awesome way.